All right, I'm here. Oh man, your your yeah, head's cut off. Right, <laughs> okay, hey guys, I'm here with Dr. Rob Osfeld, and he's a superstar. And yesterday he gave a talk about cardiology and heart health and how to protect your heart by eating a plant-based diet. And um, yeah, I just wanted to sit down with him and share his expertise with everyone. Um, we're gonna try and make this a quick video, but um, yeah. So Rob, do you wanna maybe give your top three uh, things that you wish everyone knew about heart health? Uh, sure, I mean, and it's just an incredible inspiration to be here with you. Yeah. And the point five reason, the point five thing is come to these kinds of conferences, these plant-based conferences, they're amazing. You can learn so much stuff, meet so many incredible people. Yeah. So, okay, uh, top three things I wish people knew. The fir first one is you are not a victim of your genes. That's a good one. Uh, and as some people have said, you know, um, what, you know, genes run in families, but so does diet. Diet runs in families too. And you can profoundly, even if unfortunately if someone in your family has had heart disease, you can profoundly lower your risk of heart disease by eating a plant-based diet and profoundly improve your health. It's not just protecting you from something bad happening, it's actually making something good happen. So you are not uh, a victim of your genes. And there's actually incredible work done that you can, although we have our genes, you know, make our hair color, our hair color, our eye color, our eye color, we, we can't change those. But you can change which ones speak. Mm. Uh, with healthier lifestyle, you can make healthier genes speak more loudly and unhealthy ones speak more softly. It's really awesome, uh, and that Dr. Ornish has done some of that great work in the context of prostate cancer, and, and it's been done in other arenas as well. So you are not a victim of your genes; you are the boss of you. You are in charge of you. Um, so that's number one. Number two, eating a plant-based diet. Yeah, you know it, it's great for your heart um, and great for making your blood vessels healthier, but it is good for you for literally dozens and dozens of other reasons. Yeah. And so I've been a cardiologist now for like 14 years. And outside of a medical emergency, like someone gets shot and has to be put back together again, I've never seen anything come close to the breadth and depth of benefits that a plant-based diet provides. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you're helping your heart, but you're improving your athletic performance, making the risk of osteoporosis go down, risk of some cancers go down, improve your complexion, lose weight, less uh, a better cognitive function less alzheimer's uh on and on less obesity less diabetes less hypertension uh, to name a few yeah <laughs> and like imagine and we were talking about this earlier like yeah. imagine if they're like if a drug company made a pill that right. did half of those things <laughs> half of those things yeah it would be like the biggest blockbuster of all time ever right rather than like you know you have a drug that brings down your cholesterol but it has all of these side effects that are negative you know like it does one good thing but then has all these you know negative effects whereas like literally all of the effects are positive like yeah it only it only has positive benefits i know i have this horrible side effect i lost weight i feel really bad <laughs> i know i have so much more energy now <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> um yeah so uh yeah imagine if there was a pill like that it would be the biggest blockbuster of all time but it kind of already exists and it's growing right. in your garden um, yeah and i think that you know the reason that happens is because like the body wants to heal like that's been a really important lesson for me like the body wants to be healthy and we just like when we start feeding it the right foods it just takes care of everything you know like it it gets into that healthy state for us totally and there are these interesting studies uh robert vogel did some of them where if you even eat one unhealthy meal one unhealthy meal it worsens your blood vessel function and so they fed people one unhealthy meal, like it was an unhealthy breakfast, worse than blood vessel function. It took about six hours for the blood vessel function to come back to normal. But then, you know, you know what time it is after that. It's lunchtime. Right. And then it's something unhealthy. And then it's dinner time and, you know, something unhealthy then. It's just it's meal after meal. You know, it's like you're pounding away at your blood vessels. It's like Mike Tyson is hanging out <laughs> in there. You know, bam, bam. And uh, it's no wonder they give out over time. But actually I heard yeah. that, that Mike Tyson is now vegan right which is pretty cool yeah um so so that's number 
number two. So number one, right. you're not a victim of your genes. Uh, mm -hmm. Number two, eating this way, yeah, it's great for your heart, but it's good for you for dozens and dozens of other reasons. Yeah. And my number three reason isn't going to be like all that separate <laughs> from the other ones, so my apologies, 2.5, um, is, you know, heart and blood vessel disease is the number one killer of adult men and adult women in the U.S. About two heart attacks happen wow. every minute. Wow. In the U.S., and a heart attack is when part of the heart muscle dies from a cholesterol blockage. And I don't know, maybe we've been speaking now for four minutes. Uh, so that's eight yeah. heart attacks that have happened wow. uh, since we started speaking um, in the U.S. So sad. Indeed, and, and actually, women are about six times, six to seven times more likely to die from heart disease than they are from breast cancer. Now, clearly, you don't want either one, but uh, you know, it just highlights the epidemiologic importance of heart disease for women. So, it is the number one killer. But it doesn't, it doesn't even have to be anywhere close to that. Uh, a plant-based diet, we could so easily make heart disease lose that title um, by embracing a, a plant-based diet. So let's help it lose the title. It's the first place designation we don't want anymore. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're not a victim of your genes. Plant-based diet is good for your heart, but good for you for dozens and dozens of other reasons. And let's lose the number one title don't like it. Let's put all cardiologists out of business, including me. Love it. Thank you so much. <laughs>